In order to continue talking about automate menu, we need to make an action first. So in this video, I will show you the right way to make a good action that works smoothly with any document without error messages and in an intelligent and professional way. Let me first show you what is not intelligent action. I will go to window actions. You will find here the default action that Photoshop provides. Let's try for example this action. Vignette. Click play and here is the message I am talking about. It tells you the command feather is not currently available and you you have no idea about what it is talking about since there are no notes or guides in this action to tell you what to do and when you press continue it will make a couple of layers with no effect at all so This is not a good action, okay? So I'll press F12. And in order to use this action, you need to make a selection first. Then play it to the feather radius. Then click OK. Now let's make our good action. Let's first make a new set. And now let's make a new action. And let's call it blurring the background then click record and now every single step that i will make it will be recorded here for example i will press ctrl j to duplicate the layer as you can see let me expand it layer via copy and let's press ctrl t and let's scale it down to 70 percent now i need to choose this layer to blur it with gaussian blur so the wrong way is to choose it directly from here it will say select layer background and this is the tip number one do not specify a particular layer i will show you why let's go to filter blur and gaussian blur and let's blur it for example 10 pixels then click ok and let's stop the action press f12 and now let's play the action when there is no layer called background for example i will unlock this layer and click play you will see this error message the command select is not currently available or you might see a message called the layer background is not exist and when you press continue this will happen so in order to solve this issue i will select these steps and delete them and play the action again to this stage and now click record in order to select the layer you want you have to use the shortcut which is alt left or right press bracket keys for my case i want to choose the below layer so i will press the left bracket key so it will say here select backward layer not a specific layer now i can go to filter blur and gaussian blur then click ok now let's try it i'll press stop and f12 let's change the background choose the action then click play now, now everything is good now let's complete our action click record again this step and now i will go to here and choose solid color and let's select the sepia color like this then click ok now i want to choose the blending mood of this layer so here's the tip number two don't try while recording 